How to install a $20 alternative to a cool bot. Okay, we're gonna wire this up. Ordered it on eBay, 20 bucks. Need to take this screw off. Connections are back there. Map is here, as well as some instructions that came with it. And we're gonna wire this up to an old AC unit on my insulated trailer build. So the cover comes off with one screw. Looks like push in wire connectors there with the um, terminals with the screws to tighten them down. So we'll loosen those guys up and I actually, since I'm only gonna be cooling, can use this. Um, there's where the sensor goes. Then the cooling unit is gonna go on that far circuit and then if I have to later, I'll put the defroster on that circuit. So I have here an old one that we're stripping down. And uh, so the basic strategy, I'm gonna take it apart and then I need to isolate the power to the compressor, which is that piece. And then um, I may or may not use the blower on the actual unit, um, but I need to be able to switch those on and off from my own um, thermostat. So there we go, we'll figure out how that works. Okay, so this says compressor on it. This is the power from the outlet coming in here, going through this box which who knows what that is some kind of capacitor hopefully not um and then it runs down into there and those two wires come out of here so i'm thinking if i contest my theory that if i wire nut this to this then anytime the power is on the compressor will be on and once i have that step then it's easy i can um, just set a thermostat that shuts power on and off and that will control the compressor Okay, so not recommended with something that's not a very old, unusable AC unit and normally you would want to read the instruction manual and whatnot, but I followed the wires and so as you can see on the control board, there was wires labeled medium, low, and then a black one called high to the fan, which I followed to the fan. And so I cut the wire and attached it into, this is the power inlet supply. There's the one going to the fan, and you can hear that it is running on high. And then, um, like I said, I took the compressor wire that was labeled compressor and hardwired into the power. So now, when it's on, it is running the fan on high and the compressor on high, which might be okay, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I will have the fan hardwired to always run maybe and then the compressor will be um, wired into a thermostat switch but let me tell you it definitely is blowing cold <laughs> all right so uh, okay we have all the wires pulled except for the ones we're gonna need uh, I have the smooth side here which is my hot the uh, striped side which is the neutral coming from the power cord we have the compressor hot, the fan on high, wire going to that, and then this, which I'm betting is the neutral back from both. If it's not, we're in trouble. And uh, now we're just gonna hook them into the unit here. But before we do that, we don't have enough hookups, so we're gonna need to pigtail um, some wires on. We're gonna strip the extra wire we need from uh, this old blender cord. Waste not want, you want. All right, so we're back a little less than an hour later. And we're down to 34.8 in here. That's nice. Holding up pretty good. So, uh, that's promising. The uh, Inkbird is uh, working like the cool bot. I'm not, oh, yeah, I'm starting to get some frost there. So I am gonna probably have to put a defroster on those coils in order to keep them from frosting over. And there is a spot to rig it up in the wiring and I left the, left the wires that I would need to do that with. But that's promising.